it was a tough, tough haul. I have never, ever experienced anything like this before in my life. You're okay? We got lots of light today. Rick Scroy is not talking about a struggle with Fabry, a rare and deadly genetic disorder. He is talking about the long and protracted fight with Ontario's government to get funding for enzyme replacement therapy, a therapy that will save his life. ERT prevents the deadly buildup of fats in the brain, kidneys, and heart, but it costs $275,000 a year, and few provinces were willing to cover that cost. Rick is one of the fortunate few who's been receiving his ERT, called Fabrizyme, on a compassionate basis from the drug company. But at any time, they could turn around and say, compassion ends, cost kicks in. Absolutely. But after a long and protracted fight, all 200 Fabry victims, including Rick, will be getting the therapy for three years as part of a clinical study. Ottawa still has to sign on. The drug companies have signed on. The provinces have signed on. We're just waiting for, for the feds. For Rick, right now, it looks okay. But for how long? I don't know. Three years. It's going to come. It's going to come really quickly. The reality is that we got the ball in motion. We're very, very close to, uh, on behalf of those uh, Fabry sufferers, being able to uh, celebrate a pretty significant breakthrough. I think we're we're seventy percent there, but we still have a little ways to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really could have done it without you guys. Thank you. We'll keep you posted. I'm Peter Silverman for City News.